Hey girl, hey, hey boo, hey. If you happen to have stumbled upon this channel, we would love for you to be a part of our family. And you would do that simply by clicking that red box over there, the subscribe button. Go ahead. You can, you don't even have to go out the video to find the box, which would be down there. You just need to click. Did you? Girl, boo, did you do it? <laughs> And for existing family members, hey, girl, hey, hey, boo, hey. Okay, so today's video, actually, I feel like I need to do a few updates. Actually, no, I do have a few tidbits of updates. If you want to see those updates, which I really, 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 really hope you would, go to the Patreon channel. So the link is in the description or maybe you have to copy, do a copy and paste situation, go to our Patreon channel to see the updates. And there's an additional video out there for you guys to view. Also, I feel like I need to say this because Patreon is new to me and I'm pretty sure with some of you guys, it's gonna be new for you as well. You have two options. One option is just to view the videos publicly. So what that means is with every single video, all you have to do is press the play button and call it a day and you can view the unlisted videos. Um, unlisted videos means they're YouTube videos, but you can only see them by going to Patreon because they'll direct you um, straight to the link. Um, so that's one way. Another way is that you can be a patron. And you would do that by, I guess, uh, for lack of a better word, subscribing um, to, well, you wouldn't be subscribing to Patreon. You would be subscribing, I guess, to my channel in Patreon. And by doing that, what that means is you are making a donation. The minimum donation, I believe, and I don't set this. <laughs> Actually, I could set it, Um but I don't want to. Uh, and the reason why I don't want to is because if you decide to be a patron, that means you have to make a donation, um, a monthly donation. And it's anywhere from a dollar to however much you want to do. Um, basically, the benefits, the, all the videos will be the same, whether or not you are subscribed as a patron or not. So what that means is all of the videos that you can view as a public, um, I, I guess, a public subscriber, for lack of a better word, I guess, um, you can view as a patron. So the only benefit would actually just be to the channel as of right now, as of right now. So if you want to subscribe as a patron, what that means is your donation, your monthly donation is going directly towards the channel and I will keep everything transparent. So you will see how much money the channel will get. You will know because I will do videos. Um, I don't know how you do um, a withdrawal or whatnot. I'm new to this. We're all new to this, okay? But um, I would do a video letting you guys know where the money is going towards and it will always go towards the channel. What I'm thinking is, because I'm not expecting, I mean, I'll be surprised if I get a dollar a month. <laughs> this is a new journey for us all. But if I do a withdrawal, like I told you guys, um, I like the feedback that we got from the video that I did with my cousin. What I'll probably do is use the funds to go towards, um, because he wants to do mukbangs. He he just wants to do mukbangs on the channel. So what I'll probably do is use those funds towards whatever foods or snacks or whatnot we do um, for the videos that we do dealing with that. If that made any sense. How long did it take to explain that? Over four minutes? Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll go through this all over again with you know, its own video dedicated to it. Um, I felt like that was important to say because when I went to my channel as like um, an outside user, because I wanted to see what you guys saw and I, I was confused. I was like, wait, you can only watch these videos if you're a patron. So once I 
figured that out. I was like, oh, I need to make it public and for patrons. And then I was like, wait a minute. Wait, I know people are gonna get confused because I'm confused, so let me explain. So again, quick recap, going over five minutes. Quick recap, you'll be able to see the same videos whether or not you um, subscribe as a patron. Same videos. The only difference is if you decide to be a patron of our channel on Patreon, what that means is you're willing to do a monthly donation to go towards the channel and you can cancel at any time. I believe the minimum donation is a dollar. I don't, I don't set the minimum payments um, and the maximum is whatever you choose. Um, what else? I, I think I can I can select like if I want it to be a certain dollar amount, but I, I didn't want to do that. Like if you guys want to make a donation, you do decide what you want to do. Okay, this isn't what the video was about. Ah, <laughs> uh, six minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, you see, this is what happens when things aren't scripted. <laughs> So we're gonna do a quick little whole foods haul. I was surprised you guys really enjoyed the last, um, well, the first whole foods haul that I did. So I said, why not do another one? So let's get into it. Today we got three bags, okay? We got three bags. So my intention was just to get food for the week. But by how much I spent, I'm like, what? <laughs> Should I tell you guys how much I spent as well? Okay, listen, first of all, first of all, don't judge me. Don't say that I don't know how to shop. So I don't want to hear any of that. You see, I'm clapping. You see, I'm clapping. Listen, I buy food for me, myself, and I. I don't have kids, so I'm not looking for, you know, the best bargains. I'm looking for stuff that I'm going to eat right now and immediately, and I don't want to go to several different stores to find a deal before I get a loaf of bread. <laughs> okay? I just don't want you to judge me. That's why I said all that. So, did I say how much? It was 100 Okay, my groceries today was $112. A little extra. So let's say $113. My intentions was to buy food to last the week. And I'm, I'm so confused. Like there's four weeks in a month. So huh, let me drink some water. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I got are oranges. I got Kata Kata oranges. I love these oranges. I believe these are the ones that, well, an orange looks like an orange, right? Oh, they're so sweet. I can smell them. These are the ones that are like a little um, pinkish in, in, um, I was about to say in the middle. These are the oranges that are pinkish inside, okay? I love these. These are my favorite. I also got, but it's in another bag. Oh, I'm going to be leaning over a lot. Okay, so no, we're just going to pull them out as they come. We got some shrimp. Yes, so this is Whole Foods brand. I think 365 is Whole Foods brand. I'm not, I'm, you know what, I'm not quite sure. But I think this is their brand because this is the only place I see 365 brand. I got some shrimp. Um, I haven't purchased shrimp in, so, okay, correction. I haven't purchased frozen or fresh shrimp. Shrimp, I made up a word. <laughs> Fresh shrimp in so, so, so long. Lately, anytime I get them, like they're already cooked by a restaurant or whatnot. Um, but I do recall that I, I used to, every time I purchased these in the past, I would always get the large ones. And these are kind of small. You see how small these are? Like, that concerns me because these shrink down, well, shrimps. Shrimps shrink down in size. So these are going to shrink down to like hardly nothing. But this is a two pound bag with anywhere from 51 to 60 shrimps, I guess. So I don't have enough space for this stuff. Um, we got some salsa. We got Whole Foods brand salsa. Here you go. Is this a spicy one? 
No, they didn't have, ugh. They always frustrate me. So I thought I picked up a spicy salsa, but I guess I was just imagining things. So I got that. Um, what am I going to use it for? <laughs> I purchased some jackfruit from Trader Joe's some time ago. So I'll probably season that up and then put it in um, a sandwich or something. I got two things of ground turkey. Now these are not going to last me long at all. Like I really like my ground meats. So like my ground turkeys, my ground chicken. I'm sorry, I wasn't even looking at y'all the whole time. My ground beefs. Um, I really love how, first of all, I love how quick and easy they are to make. I like how easily they take on flavor because they're all grinded up and whatnot. I also like, um, did I say how quick it is? <laughs> uh, but in any case, I got two of these. Now, these do not last me long. These usually last me two days because I love my food so much. I sound like a greedy person, but I am. Did I get the Whole Foods brand? No, I got Nature, Nature's Rancher. It says it's organic and whatnot, and I think they treated the turkeys well. So I got two of those. These, is, they're probably going to last me. Like, one of this can last me two days. I try to stretch it out. but um, And that's because I'll eat it for, like, two meals in one day. So that's why they go pretty quickly. Okay, so what else do we got? So I have several of these kabooches, and they only put one in a bag. So I got that, and these were not on sale, but <laughs> I've been neglecting my gut lately, so kombucha helps with that. I got all of my favorite ones um, at Whole Foods. So the Strawberry Serenity is one of my favorites. Um, and then I'll just go through the flavors as I'm grabbing them because they put them in different bags. Um, I, the next one is a kombucha. I got the Guava Goddess guava goddess and like i said they put them in different bags um so you know the bags wouldn't be too heavy for me oh wait i have another one here and like again i said all the all of the flavors i'm showing are my favorite ones and all of these are by gts and i got a cranberry oh cosmic cranberry yeah boo yeah first of all that didn't even sound right yes boo yes <laughs> better okay and then i got i'm running out of space guys i don't know where to put the rest of these and then i got two of my thai tea concentrate you guys know i love these you know i oh darn it that would be a good giveaway <laughs> But I can't do a giveaway until um, everyone gets their stuff that won the last um, series. Um, I love putting this in cranberry juice. So cranberry Thai iced tea, that's my jam. My jam. Unfortunately, because of this brand, Absolute Bagel isn't getting business for, for their cranberry Thai iced tea for me any longer. I haven't been to Absolute Bagels in so long since I figured out how to make cranberry Thai iced tea myself. But they do have amazing bagels, so I do need to go there. Okay, what else do we got? Oh my gosh, it's already been 13 minutes. I got some strawberries. And I was very scared to buy these and I'm very scared to taste these because all last year I haven't been able to find sweet tasting strawberries. Haven't been able to find it. It is March now. I don't think it's strawberry season. So if I wasn't able to find it all last summer, what's the chances of these actually being sweet? My experience has been like they're, they're, they smell sweet which these absolutely do, but they taste like absolutely nothing. But mama said, mama said that she wanted a berry banana bread, so I had to pick these up. If these are not sweet tasting, what I'll end up doing is how people usually make their banana breads when they put berries in it. What, what I'll do is I'll just dice them up. If 
they happen to be sweet, then I'll smash them to get those juices released throughout the batter. I'll do a berry banana bread video for you guys. I've already recorded a banana bread video, but what I'll probably do is just record um, the berry banana bread um, video and just upload that in. I don't know, maybe the other one will be in the vault somewhere. Okay, what else? All right. Okay, new experience. So, Harmless Harvest. I love their coconut water. People cannot relate, but their coconut water to me tastes like Rice crispy Treats milk. <laughs> no, that's not something you can buy. So, let me explain. You know how if you ever had Rice crispy Treats, the flavor of the milk after the cereal sits in there? Like, that's what their coconut water tastes like to me and I love it also their coconut water is pink I just like that it's pink but in any case I saw that they have a dairy free yogurt now I didn't realize until I was about to um pay for this this is very liquidy I'm like I thought yogurt was thick like a thick consistency so we don't we don't know how this is going to be I haven't tried it it's gonna be my first time I got a strawberry flavor and I also got a mango flavor, which is not in this bag. So I'll show you guys once I come to that. Also got barbecue sauce. Never used this brand before. It is Pali, Pal, Paleo Chef. <laughs> okay, it took me a moment. Moment? It took me a moment. So never had an experience with this. I was just looking for barbecue sauce. I'm very particular with sauces because I just am. Also, I don't typically like my foods to be saucy. I'm not a saucy type of person, but when I do like sauce on my food, like I'm very, 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 very particular about it. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. What caught me is that it's a peach barbecue. Never had a peach barbecue, I believe, before. So, you know, interesting. I usually don't like barbecue sauces that are too sweet. And I'm a little um, concerned because it says peach in the beginning. So I'm like, does that mean it's going to be very sweet? And if it's not that sweet, that I can work with. Because if I feel like it needs to be a little sweeter, I can add brown sugar or whatnot into it. But if it's just too sweet, then there is really nothing. Yeah, so we're going out on a limb with that. <laughs> and what I plan on using that with is for um, the jackfruit that I purchased from Trader Joe's some time back okay so another gts kombucha this one is the blood orange hibiscus rose one um i think i'm not sure i think and i am not sure i'm running out of space i think i didn't purchase the roseberry kombucha since i purchased that one but we'll see um, and that is one of my favorite ones as well. I got some flatbread. I'm very upset. So I used to get, and I think I think I showed you guys this in a video. I used to get this flatbread called Miss Moon. Miss Moon. <laughs> M S M E N. And I think it's a local company. It's it's definitely a company in one of the boroughs. So I don't know if they made their flatbreads in Harlem or if it was like Brooklyn, um, I would remember if it was like Queens or something. I really feel as if they made their breads in Harlem. So the, the place of business is in Harlem and they sold it, um, sold their flatbreads, M-S-M-E-N, um, in Whole Foods. I haven't been able to find that bread in like forever. And I'm very upset because I loved that bread. So I'm in Whole Foods and I'm like, okay, so let me get another type of bread. I do not like corn tortilla. I don't know if they're supposed to be better for you or whatnot, but I like flour tortilla. So I'm going to give this one a try. They did have other ones that I was kind of interested in, but I didn't feel like experimenting with. Like I said, that there was a cashew flour tortilla type of situation. And I'm like, oh, that's probably healthier for you, but let's just... 
I'm already risking using a brand that I'm not familiar with. Let's, let's not go too far, okay? Um, let's see what else. Oh, okay, so the other bag is over here. Let me lean over. I'm not leaning back, I'm leaning over. <laughs> okay, I got another one. So I got two of these. I got two of these babies. Yeah, I'm gonna be bending down a lot now. Um, Pomegranate Power, I love this kombucha as well. I got all of my favorites. Um, all of them are by GTS, if I didn't say that. I think I did. And then I got a mango yogurt, which I'm confused as to why it's called a yogurt since it's so liquidy. Uh, you know what? Let's try it. Oh, are you supposed to shake it? Yeah, it does say shake well. This is juice. <laughs> or no, this is just coconut water. I hope I enjoy this. I These were $2.99, I remember. Okay, it smells like a pina colada. It smells like a peanut, and it kind of smells like a yogurt. <laughs> okay, so I this I can tell that I can if I drink enough of these, I can start enjoying these. Not to say that it tastes bad, it just tastes different like okay let me see okay this is what it tastes like it tastes like a yogurt turned into a liquid <laughs> that's what it tastes like that wasn't helpful at all like it tastes like and, and i'm not talking about like a greek yogurt no it tastes like those what do you call the other yogurts? The yogurts we grew up on, like the Dannons and whatnot. It tastes like if you were to take one of those and turn it into a liquid and take out some of the sugar, a bit of the sugar, that's what this would be. I don't know. I was kind of hoping that I would get that um, Rice Krispie taste going on. <laughs> um, I like it. Um, let's give this a chance. Um... I don't know if I can substitute it for anything, like maybe for breakfast or something. I usually like big meals for breakfast, but nothing broke. <laughs> nothing broke. Okay, next thing. Um, I enjoy it. Next thing, vanilla bean tea by Mighty Leaf. So I love Mighty Leaf. I've been a consumer of theirs for a such a long time for over a decade now they have two teas that i really enjoy one is this their vanilla bean and then another one is their mighty leaf tropical green tea which is saying a lot because i'm not a fan of green tea oh quick story yesterday i tried um starbucks new matcha drink and i remember i tried ma matcha um, twice before didn't really enjoy it. I tried the new pineapple flavor yesterday and I was I could not finish drinking it. So I'm like, what is a matcha? What is a matcha? So I quickly Googled it and I was like, oh, it's green tea. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> That's why I can't get myself to like it. But with that being said, the Mighty Leaf Tropical Green Tea is really good um maybe it just has a little bit of green tea or maybe it's mixed with some other tea i got some halos um so i like stuff in the orange family <laughs> um halos are what are halos halos these aren't miniolas are they mandarins Ma don't make fun of me <laughs> don't make fun of me so i got some mandarins now, yes, I, I have mandarins, you saw the car, car oranges that I have. That's going to be gone this week. <laughs> That's going to be gone this week. This is going to be gone this week. The meat is going to be gone this week. The strawberries are going, like almost everything. Okay, except for the drinks. No, all of the kombuchas will be gone this week. The shrimp will be here a little longer. Oh, probably the whole month but like this is a whole week's worth of groceries and I may run out before 
the seven days is over honey boo boo sweetie child i need to start shopping better <laughs> that is over 20 minutes I yeah I'm, I'm gonna try to learn how to speak less why am I lying to you girl if you did not press the subscribe button and you enjoyed the content you thought it was funny you thought I was entertaining or whatever please press it now press it now girl honey boo boo sweetie child you still have time it's right there and you know what? I'll put a picture on my face that you can click on as well. Maybe you just don't like red boxes. I understand. You can click on my face. <laughs> Existing family members, thank you for coming back. Make sure that you see the next video, which will be uploaded tomorrow. Um, that's going to be a quick... Um, well, we call it skincare. It, it's it's a oh, what should I title the video? It's one of my get ready with me's. Okay, um, I haven't decided what I'm going to put in the title, but it's like one of my favorite quick little looks. Um, oh, should I spoil it now? Yeah, let me spoil it now because I told you guys in the get ready with me videos. No, no, no more talking. I'm not going to talk at all. One of my favorite things to do when it comes to makeup is using one powder which is bronzer and I have two bronzers that I like one is by Fenty and it's the Mocha Mami or Mammy I think it's Mammy and this is the color I love it and it looks very um it looks more reddish on me love it and the one that I use in the video that you'll see tomorrow is by Becca Ooh, and it's called Molly Nights if you can see that I'm not sure. And this one is more pinkish opposed to reddish. Oh, it looks a really pretty color on camera, but that is not how it looks on my skin. <laughs> it still looks pretty on my skin, but it's not this beautiful color that you're seeing here. So this is what I use. So one of the looks that I like doing is using this to bronze and also using it on my eyes as an eyeshadow kind of situation. So that was the only powder that I used. Oh, I still lied. I also use highlighter. But you'll see that video tomorrow. I'm still editing it, but you'll definitely see it tomorrow, 12 a.m. Well, Eastern. Okay, bye. <laughs>